Hello everyone, welcome to Apigee 4 minute videos for developers, part of programming of API series. In this video, we are going to talk about proxy endpoint and target endpoint of Apigee API proxy. Myself Anil Sagar, I work at Google and Apigee platform. Prerequisites for this video, you need an Apigee Edge account. You can register for same on apigee.com slash edge. You also need basic understanding of Apigee API proxy. For that, you can refer earlier 4 minute videos. In this video, we're going to talk about proxy and target endpoint in Apigee API proxy and the different properties of it. Let's talk about proxy and target endpoint. You all know that Apigee Edge sits in between the client and the target server, where the API request and the response flows through Apigee Edge. The Apigee API proxy endpoint contains information about the proxy that we created, like the URL of the proxy, the base path and what what types of virtual hosts does it uh, uh, have and similarly the target endpoint like what is the target endpoint url uh, what are the different http protocols that the target supports and what are the connection time modes and many other properties let's uh, quickly go to the apigee edge to see the proxy endpoint and the target endpoint when we create an api proxy i'm going to create an api proxy a simple reverse proxy. All the information that we give in, in the API proxy create wizard will go into the proxy endpoint and the target endpoint. We're going to take a look at that in a few minutes. I'm going to use uh, mock target uh, as uh, the existing API and create a new proxy. Authorization I'm going to select as pass through and select the default virtual host uh, that is given by the proxy wizard. It's nothing but uh, the endpoints uh, uh, that are uh, available for the proxy using which we can access the target server. And uh, choose the environments and build and deploy. So our proxy got created. Let's go and take a look at the proxy endpoint and the target endpoint. To understand the proxy endpoint and target endpoint, click on develop tab. If you click on uh, proxy endpoints default, you can see the proxy endpoint information. As you can see, uh, the HTTP proxy connection, the proxy endpoint properties, where the base path is 4MV4D demo. And it is enabled on default and secure virtual hosts, which are nothing but HTTP and HTTPS uh, protocols on which different virtual hosts are different, defined. It also has route rules, flows, and fault rules that we'll talk about in upcoming four minute videos. Similarly, target endpoint has the target endpoint information like the target endpoint URL. For example, if you see the proxy, the proxy is a combination of the virtual host and the base path. This particular information is defined in the proxy endpoint. As you can see here, if we click on default, the base path is defined. Let's quickly access the API proxy that we created. As you can see, when I call the API proxy, it calls the target and it prints the response back. And let's quickly change the proxy endpoint properties to understand how it works. I'm going to change the base path from 4 minute for MV4D demo to something else. And then save the proxy. Now if I access the same API proxy, it no longer works because the base path we have changed. Let's use the new base path. There you go. Similarly, you can change the target endpoint URL in the target endpoint properties. It currently it points to mock target. Instead of that, let me update the target URL to some other target endpoint. I'm going to use HTTP bin.org. Now, if you call the API proxy, it's going to call the HTTP bin. There you go. So you will define the target connection related settings in the target endpoint and the proxy related settings in the proxy endpoint. Hope this video is helpful for you. If you have any questions, please feel free to post your questions on community.rapg.com. Thank you for watching this video.